Hello friends. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another try a volume. And the idea behind this, as I'm sure the title implies and you likely don't need an explanation for, is that I try out at least one volume or more of a particular manga series or comic book series. The ones that I try out are based off of your votes. So I have 23 different manga series and 23 different comic book series that I want to at least try this year. And certain ones I plan to prioritize to really put a lot of effort into reading as much of the series, if not the whole series as possible. And then other ones are ones that I've heard some good things, I would like to dip my toes in, but I just don't know if they're for me. And so I over on my community tab will have five either manga, comics, or a combination of both that you can vote on, and the top votes are the ones that I go ahead and do this for. This last time, the two winners were actually two comic book series, which would be Paper Girls and Why the Last Man, and since they're both by Brian K. Vaughn, I decided I would go ahead and start Saga. Saga is one of the ones that I, as I was just describing, want to really put a lot more time into because I've heard such amazing things. It really seems like something I would enjoy. And so I figured I would add it to this so that at least we could kind of round out the Brian K. Vaughn reading and see, get a real taste of what his works are like. But I do plan to continue on with Saga regardless of whether I loved that first volume or not. And the good news is I did really like that first one. That was the first of these three that I picked up. I really enjoyed the dialogue of the characters. I immediately liked the characters and I actually think it's an extremely, it's an, it's an extreme skill to be able to be able to deliver a story and to be able to make people like the characters just based off of little snippets of dialogue. Because a lot of times, of course, it's an artistic medium, meaning literally there's art on the page, it's visual for you to look at. And that definitely is something that's going to play a role because the artist is going to have the expressions of the characters, the way that they carry themselves, their body language, in a sense, is shown through their art. So for, and the art is great, I just want to say Fiona Staples, I believe, does the art for, uh, for Saga, but to have it be the dialogue that instantly made me care about these characters, care about their relationships with one another, care about their struggles and what they're going through, and then also trying to piece together this bizarre, off-the-wall, sci-fantasy world. I just think that that's so impressive. And just within that single volume, I was like, I'm having so much fun. I'm gonna see if I can find it at my local bookstore because it was just such a blast. And it's also got some emotional punches right away. The setup, if you don't know, is that you're following this couple that clearly their races are not meant to be together. In fact, they're at war. And the opening of the story is that the woman is giving birth to their child. So they have a romantic relationship and now a daughter and they are immediately on the run because somebody is targeting them. And you don't really know who's targeting them, why it's such a big deal this couple is together. It seems like they just want to mind their own business. It doesn't seem like they want to be some kind of icon or staple for people to look at and emulate. It just seems like they want to mind their own business and be left alone. And the galaxy is huge. There's so many different planets that they can go to. So why is everyone so interested in them? And the main person telling the story, you could say, is actually the daughter. So already I'm like, oh no, is something going to happen? <laughs> and I'm just worried for everybody. I want I want everybody to be okay, but I'm like, I don't think everybody's going to be okay. And I just immediately was very hooked. I definitely am excited to read more of Saga, and I really enjoyed pretty much everything about it. It's very, it's very adult, by the way, if you don't know. So uh, just know that going in, but I really greatly enjoyed it. I'm going to kind of sandwich uh, the positive and I'm going to make it a sandwich. There's positives on the outside and this middle one is the negative. And that would be why the last man? I like everything about this except for the last man. He's it's so annoying. So the setup for this one is randomly one day, everything with a Y chromosome dies. And that includes not just human beings, but any mammal. And so the only remaining males left are our main character, York, and his monkey. And now because he is the last man on earth, he is immediately in danger. He's sought after. He is a very important figure, obviously, for the survival of the human population. And 
nobody really knows in this first volume that he's still alive. He does reveal to some people, but it's still relatively unknown. But right away, you can see where he is going to be in danger. And you're also, and the part that's interesting to me, and the thing that actually I liked, was what Brian K. Vaughn is doing with politics, with society as a whole, society in different countries, different smaller sects of beliefs, of political beliefs, and it's really interesting to navigate. You just kind of have to go with him wherever he's going to go, because who could ever predict what would actually happen in that scenario? So I really like everything going on surrounding our main character, but I, I can't, I don't think I can read a series where this is the main character because he is unbelievably stupid and annoying. He is a big dum-dum. He's so dumb. I, I understand the idea of the last man alive. What if he was just an average Joe? He's just a regular old guy. And what would that be like? And that's very different from being a dumb, stupid idiot, which is what York is. He's so incredibly, painfully dumb and annoying. I'm like, I can't, I couldn't even, I hardly could finish this first volume because I couldn't stand him that much. I really don't like unintelligent characters and reckless characters. And if you're both those things and you're the last man on earth, I'm like, you gotta not be so dumb. He was so dumb. So I don't think I'm going to keep going with Why the Last Man, even though I like, like I said, the surrounding. But it's one of those things where even if York grows throughout the series, even if he matures or he starts to think about other people, not just himself and his girlfriend. And uh, Anyway, if he starts to think about, if he starts to grow, I still think that where he would end up is where I would want him to have started. I'm just like, he he's just so bleh. He's just awful. I can't stand him. Switching gears though and ending with Paper Girls. This one is, it's not more wild in its world than Saga, but it's just such a trip immediately. You follow these young girls who are on their paper route and suddenly really bizarre things start to happen and they're they just have each other i don't know how much more i should say because i think part of the fun of going into this one is just not having any idea what is happening and it and just a, having a good time with how wild it gets these girls are very distinct in their personalities and again this kind of ties back to what i was saying about saga and how good brian Kavon is at establishing his characters through his dialogue so right away you have this is like kind of the sweet, the sweet one who seems like she's the perfect student and she gets the good grades and she tries really hard. Then you get the really rough around the edges, like tough kid girl. And it's just fun to see their different personalities right away. And all of these are, I was talking about the one character being rough around the edges. I just feel like there is that feeling in all of these, that all of these characters and all of these stories have a sense of rough around the edges to them, which makes everything feel a little bit more real. It doesn't feel like you're reading about these characters. It feels like these are actual people. So they come to life really vividly. And I think that these, these characters, I mean, already, just this one in particular is just a lot. But I did really enjoy this one. I definitely plan to keep going with this as well. I had a lot of fun with it. And the thing is, with Why the Last Man, I didn't think Why the Last Man was bad by any means. I think a lot of the compliments I've been giving Paper Girls and Saga apply to that one too. I just think Yurik is so... you get it. I don't like him. That's it though for this edition of Try a Volume. Thank you everybody for voting on what I should pick up. I will do this again pretty soon, although the last time I did Try a Volume, I was interested in picking up all of them, and that was Tokyo Ghoul, Ancient Magus' Bride, and Girl from the Other Side, which there's not that much out of that one, but I plan to continue with all of those, and then it was successful here too, or two of the three I definitely want to keep going with. So I'm not sure when the next Try a Volume is going to happen, because I want to keep going with these. I have some other series I want to either start or continue on with, but the next time I do a Try a Volume, I'll have it over in the community tab and you can definitely put your votes in again. So thanks so much for watching though. Let me know your thoughts on Brian K. Vaughn's works. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.